my channel alien tech champion uh, if you have not like and subscribe please like and subscribe the channel uh, to just to know uh, uh, about the Intune uh, and Microsoft Endpoint Manager and, and anything related to the Apple iOS or Android devices right so uh, in this video uh, today I am going to talking I am going to talk about this uh, what is the use of device categories as you can see uh, if you are new to this uh, Microsoft Intune so here endpoint.microsoft.com is a portal so as soon as you log in into this portal you can go to the device and just scroll down you will see the device category right so <clears throat> we'll talk more on this today in this video so as you can see here I have a little bit zoom it here so so what is the use of uh, this device category so this device category is 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 used to to create the filter reports based on the device um, device groups or I mean um, so and you this device categories you can keep options to the user so that they can choose during the enrollment whether it's iOS Windows or <coughs> Android devices if you want to learn more about this just click on there and you see here device categories allow us to easily manage and group devices in Microsoft Intune so while creating the <coughs> category device categories like for accounting or for any department right Intune will automatically add all those devices that fall within dot that category right so so here you must have be a global administrator or Intune administrator to perform or create this device category so you as you can see here right uh, how to create the device category in the Intune let's go to here create device categories here I'll give the name of like I want to give options to the users that they can select whether it's iOS devices or Android devices if while they enrolling through the company portal or it's Windows operating system they can select Windows right while opening the company portal so I am selecting Android OS okay let's click on next scope in the in in my past video i have shown you how you can create the scopes and what is the use of scope so you can go through you can define and this scope is actually uh, useful if you want to show this category uh, to to this uh, scope right oh sorry i have cancelled this let me create this uh, uh, what is ipad Android OS what ha what is happening <laughs> sorry Android OS default I am selecting default by default all scope tab and just create that's it so <clears throat> so this this device category is scope to all so by default by default and why was by default this uh, device category as soon as any users in this tenant will will enroll they can get options to select the Android operating system while similar like you want to create iPad OS so so that you you will get to know or you can keep option Windows OS right or if you want to uh, create a like category for India India users right and I will show you how you can select the India users next and here you can select the India or EMEA if you have created these scopes right so let's get created next next that's it and you 
so we, we have created two scopes here you can anytime you can go and delete this uh, but but before deleting if you delete then all those uh, devices tagged or they have selected the device category here I mean while enrolling the devices it will win it will show as a default no category so you can see here same we have created enter the name of like HR it's optional descriptions you can you can assign the tab to the US IT team or any and this category of specific is about more the role based access control right so so you can use this category name when you get the active directory security groups as well so let's uh, I have created a what is that Android operating system right so Android OS so what we'll do we'll open the portal and we'll show you how you can use this um, device category to as per this article how you can create the and 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 then and then I mean how I mean how we can create the AD as Azure AD security groups uh, and dynamic groups and using this uh, device category attributes right so we'll go to the portal.azure.com go to the groups okay create new groups you have to select the security name group name you can give it the Android operating system right so I'll give all Android all Android users okay group descriptions I will leave it blank it's not mandatory assign I'll select dynamic devices okay and select the device rules select the properties and here what you have to do here you have to select <coughs> device category right the property should be category we'll say content or equal that it be content and what is the device category name I have given the name is Android operating system similar like if you have created for India you can give India and just put the value yeah, okay you see the syntax is coming here just save it right so and you have created this uh, groups based on the device category so if any users if any users they select while enroll while enrolling their devices through company portal if they select Android operating system and you assign any policies or apps to 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 these groups which I have created so this to this group so all apps or maybe the profiles whatever you have assigned from the Intune portal and if the user has been has selected while enrolling this this category all those policy will get applied to the devices so this is actually a very nice feature uh, I hope you learn about how to create the device category and how you can use that device category for more information you can go through this large, uh, article it's uh, it's also uh, mentioned there is some best practices mentioned by the Microsoft device category are supported on devices that Android OS and Windows people with Windows must use the company portal website to select the their category right regardless of the platform right so any devices can sign into the portal manage dot right any devices so if you this is the company portal you can go to this uh, site you'll see just log in with your user account you'll see this is end user company portal site okay and uh, you'll see as soon as you if you, I don't have any devices so if you have any devices it will show enroll and anytime and go to the my devices and select the category you can select the category as well here if an i device is already enrolled before you configuring the category the user will receive the notification so if the android devices is already enrolled or ios devices before you configure or create the categories then you user will receive the notification about the company portal website this notification informed that they need to select the category next time when they sign into the company portal app so this is web company portal company portal app is you can uh, it's available on the google play store or apple app store right i hope uh, you have learned how you can create the device categories 
and how you can use that with the dynamic groups and apply. Till then, thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye. Take care. Signing off.